Hey guys, in this video we are going to start looking at conditional statements in JavaScript. Now, conditional statements is when you have a piece of code that you want it to uh, load if something is true or false. Say for example, uh, if this uh, visitor who visited the, your website is uh, a you has a login name say if uh, logged in equals true then you can uh, redirect him to his uh, main page main profile page and if he isn't you could redirect him to a register page and so on now in particular in this video we are going to look at the if statement now if statement is that looks like this so there's an if and then you write a curl, uh, normal brackets and you have a condition here and then you have uh, a curly brackets after the words and in here we have the code if condition uh, is true and let's actually comment it out okay so this is the structure of this if statement some people prefer to have the curly brackets over here so that it looks more uh, it looks the same on the top and bottom but I just use it here so that the JavaScript code doesn't get too long now so we have an if there's a condition and there's the code that you want to uh, execute if the condition is true say for example if uh, I don't know uh, 5 equals 5 then document dot write 5 is 5 something like that let's save a work and try refreshing there we go because 5 equals 5 uh, we the JavaScript outputted or wrote the 5 is 5 in our browser now let's say if 6 equals 5 which isn't so if I refresh here that 5 equals 5 is going to delete itself or it won't uh, execute this piece of code won't execute because this will only execute if the state the condition in here is true say for example we have var x equals uh, 5 no 10 or something and then say if x equals uh, 10 simple let's say <coughs> sorry the condition is true and let's refresh the condition is true because x we have defined x the variable to be 10 and the condition is if x equals 10 or x equals equals sorry I made a mistake there which is still the same the condition is true now let's say x is greater than 10 let's see what happens that's not going to work because x or 10 is not greater than 10 however if we do if x equals if x is greater than or equal to 10 that will still uh, that statement is true therefore the code document.write will be executed I don't I'm not going to do all the examples like less than or e uh, equals 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 actually we could do equals 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 this is exactly the same as so it's going to look at the value type as well because the variable x is a number and over here the 10 is a number as well the condition will be true however if we make x equal a string of 10 then the condition won't be true because the uh, the data type is not true okay so that is an if statement this doesn't have to be like two numbers we, it, it could be say I don't know if logged in equals true we could have something to check if the user has logged into your website and you could say if uh, logged in equals true 
and there will be a function to check if the user has logged in and that function will return a value if a boolean value whether it's going to be true or false uh, later in my videos we are going to be looking at functions and how to write these stuff as well so don't worry about that for now okay so that was a really quick video on the if statement so if the if statement has a condition and we have a a code that will be executed if a condition is is true or just right is okay so that's the simple structure of the if statements in the next video we are going to be looking at if else statements which is similar to the if statements but we are going to be writing another code underneath this if so thanks for watching and i'll see you later